What if I told you that you could turn this sword into this couch? Let's talk about it. In every game nowadays, there's some version of crafting. It's satisfying and helps people build a connection to the game that they're currently playing by presenting them with a task that requires a certain level of game knowledge to complete, and the reward is very clearly laid out at the start in some version of a recipe. But what about the opposite? DE crafting? In some games, this is called salvaging or repurposing, where you take apart one item for the parts that make it up to be able to use it in a different item. In Final Fantasy XIV, this skill is called desynthesis. In the simplest terms, desynthesis breaks down an item into the core components that would have made it. Wood for bones, steel for swords, crystals for the crafter archetype, and so on. Let's take this couch from the beginning as an example. To be able to get this couch, you need to be able to buy it off the market board. That's it unless you want to craft it. First, we need to find out what we need to make this thing. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Yeah, all of these other items we can get normally, except for this one, this Vortex Feather. There are two ways to get it. You can either grind the Howling Eye Extreme until it appears in the treasure coffer, or you could take apart a Garuda weapon or accessory for a chance to get it. But Relmar, how do I even unlock Desynthesis? Well, it's really simple. All you gotta do is have a crafter at 30 and then make your way over to Uldah, where you'll find this guy who will give you the blue quest gone to pieces. He sends you over to Mutamix, where Gobby Nose makes fighty tools turn shiny pieces, and boom, you can desynthesize things. And that's where the nerdy stuff starts. This part gets a little complex, but try and stick with me here. In order to desynthesize an item, we need to take a look at its pop up tooltip near the bottom. We'll find whether or not the item is desynthesizable right here, and a number. The number will determine if you have a better chance of getting the rare item from the desynthesis. Think of it like your desynthesis level, if it helps. When you go to desynthesize the item, you can easily see at a glance if you have a good chance to get the rare item if this number is orange, like this. You can see what your desynthesis level is currently for any given crafter in two places. The first is shown to you whenever you go to desynthesize an item right here, and the second is inside of your character screen under the classes slash jobs, under crafters, and then you click on any of them and you'll see a full readout of all of your crafters desynthesis level. Oh, you thought your all your desynthesis levels would be the same and work for all of them? No, 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 no. You gotta get them all up individually. But why is the number capped at 580? Well, at the time of making this video, the current item level cap is 580. This means that anytime that cap is raised from a patch or anything like that, so does the desynthesis cap. Still with me? Great. Now we know how to view all of our info, so let's talk about how to increase it. In order to increase your desynthesis level, you need to, guess what? Break stuff down. What kind of stuff should I be breaking down? Everything. Well, everything you don't need or want. Stuff like random retainer items from those quick ventures, dungeon drops for other classes you don't play, or even some furniture that drops from dungeons. But wait, that doesn't mean you can just go to grind copper mines all day long. The sneaky devs over at Yoshida's Place made it so that way in order to efficiently boost your desynthesis level, you gotta be breaking down items that have a higher item level than your current skill level. But there is hope. No matter what state your crafting job is in, as long as it's above level 30, you'll be able to break down anything associated with that job. Garuda dropped a sword in her coffer, break it apart with blacksmith, get the feather because the number was orange, switch to goldsmith and make a couch, put it in your house, sit on it. It's pretty comfy. A little windy. Really windy. Or, you can trick your friends into farming Stormblood Trials for the mounts. Take all the weapons for yourself, desynthesize them for the crafting materials, sell the glowing versions of the weapons for millions of gil! But you didn't hear that from me. Happy farming. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this short guide, then make sure to subscribe for more videos in the future. There'll be more guides coming out soon.